everyone, welcome back. Today's project is going to be a simple knitted hat. Uh, you can find the pattern on michaelymarler.com. Uh, Michaeli is a good friend of mine. She is the mastermind behind the DIY blog, michaelymarler.com. Um, you can find her at Michaeli's Crafts on Instagram, and she is also the indie dyer behind Breaking Yarn, uh, which is breakingyarn.com and Breaking Yarn on Instagram. And I will have all the links below to the written tutorial of this hat and how you can see what else Michaeli has going on in her pattern. Uh, she has listed for the yarn as Lion Brand Thick and Quick, which is a chunky, uh, super bulky, size 6 category yarn. Uh, I don't have any Thick and Quick, but I have this Hometown USA by Lion Brands, which is also a super bulky 6, so that is what I'm going to use to do this tutorial. So, to get started, you will need a US size 15 uh, needles with a 16 inch cord, four double pointed needles of the same size. We're going to put those off to the side for right now because we don't need those to the end. A pair of scissors and a tapestry needle for weaving in ear ends. So to get started, McKaylee has us casting on 40 stitches. So I'm going to count out 10 wraps and then I will just measure that three more times for a rough estimate of how many uh, how much yarn I need to cast on. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to one, two, three. So roughly, It'll be about this much yarn to cast on 40 stitches. First we are going to make a slip knot. You're going to wrap the yarn around your finger, take the loop on the back, pull it over the front, take the loop that is in the back and pull it over your finger. And you have your slip knot. With the tail facing you and your working yarn in behind, we are going to begin casting on. And slip your slip knot onto your needle and begin casting on 40 stitches. I have casted on 40 stitches, and look, that was a pretty good estimate, right? I use that pretty much all the time when I'm casting on, so let's just double check our stitches here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, And I'm going to cast on one extra stitch, and I'll show you why I do that in a moment. So now we have our stitches casted on, and we need to join to work in the round. And when you do that, you want to make sure that all of your stitches are facing the same direction all the way around your circular knitting needle. You don't want them to be twisted for seven rows. Now I had, I cast it on that extra stitch and I'm going to show you how that helps me when I am joining in the round. So I'm going to slip one stitch from the left to the right. And then I slip this stitch over top. And drop it and pull it tight. And that joins the round. 
So now there's 40 stitches again. We're joined in the round. And we're going to knit one. And purl one. Now you can use a stitch marker if you want. But I just, on hats, generally, at least for the brim part, this tail marks the beginning of the round. So we're going to knit one. And purl one. Knit one. And purl one. So now we are back at the beginning, and we're just going to do that, do that same knit one, purl one, all the way around uh, for six more times. So we're going to knit one and purl one, and you're just going to keep going that way until you have seven rows of the knit one, purl one ribbing. And then I will meet you back here to start the body.